what we have right here are three golf pucks. The longest guide rod is used for the target line, and that's the 42-inch guide rod. We have the 24-inch guide rod set between these two golf pucks so that we can set the distance between how far we stand from the ball. We have the 36-inch guide rod set up so that we can use that as a foot alignment guide rod. And then we have a third golf puck used with the 18-inch guide rod um, horizontally pointing to the ball and serving as the gate for the putter to pass through. Depending on whether you have an arced or a straight back putting stroke, the gate allows you to come through at exactly the same point. Then we also have an 18-inch guide rod used vertically so that we can differentiate where your hands are through the putting stroke. So now that I have this set up with the distance between the guide rod here and the target guide rod to be the distance that we have for the face of the club face, we're able to set the club face down square to this guide rod so that we can tell that we're square to the target line. When we come through, this gate allows me to come through either straight back, straight through, or at an arc. The critical part is where you stand is repetitive. Where you place the ball is, is repetitive in, in your stance. How far the ball is away from your feet, away from your eye line, that's critical. And when you do the video, you're going to want a video tape in back of the ball so that you can see the path of the stroke and you can see the path of the ball. The second angle to make sure that you photographed is 90 degrees to your swing stroke. What you're going to check here is to make sure that your club face stays square through impact and you want to make sure that you're consistently keeping your hands in the same position through the stroke so that your hands are at least parallel to the club face, not too far forward and not too far back. And from this point, practice, practice, practice. Using the V1 system as well as golf pucks, you'll see the club head and address very well lined up, perpendicular to the target line, which is evidenced by the uh, guide rod that's coming off perpendicular to our target line. On the putting stance, you'll see the vertical rod upward as well. We drew some lines down the shaft line and also the lead arm through the wrist. And as we make a stroke, you'll see that that left wrist angle has dissipated a little bit which has caused the putter head to close just a little and also adds loft to the putter. So you can see that difference at impact versus address position. There's your address position. Here's impact. So it's added about two degrees to that, you'll see that the eyes are directly behind the ball, which is very good for alignment purposes. The thing that you'll also notice coming through, it's a tremendously long follow through on this particular person, which the legs will be moving a little bit to accommodate that long follow through. I suggest as an instructor, no further through than about right here. In fact, the shorter the follow through, the more distance control we have. But the critical things are what we can see with the camera angle, the camera angle always off the line that's perpendicular to our target, just opposite the ball or the club face in regards to the putter so that we can get a good accurate reading. If the camera was positioned over here, we would not get a good view, nor right here, but directly in line with the putter right here. And the ball is really advantageous to getting good information.
analyzing golf pucks, we can see that the feet, shoulders, hands, legs, hips are all parallel to our target line. We're going to draw a line on our target line here in blue. This is our target line right there. You'll see that the eyes are directly over the ball. You'll see the angle of the shaft right here. Twenty two degrees, and as we put see that ball continuing on that target line going a little bit left of the hole, left enter the left side of the hole. One thing you'll see here is we can uh, look at the hip line. You know, taking a film from directly down the ball line or target line, you can see that everything is parallel and perpendicular. Uh, the hips stay immobile till after impact but with the extension of a long follow through you'll see the hips and everything go through that's just an individual style and a long follow through you'll see the putter head quite a bit arced to the left but the backstroke is a slight arc there's, to me, too much follow-through. If we were about right to there, that's plenty enough. You don't need any more of that, and plus you'll get better distance control. But again, the eye is right over the ball. Target line is very good right there. And the putt went started right on our target. And the putt does break a little bit right to left.